Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here again to continue uh, where I left off with uh, creating the Octokong Scene Selector patch that I was creating. Um, when I left off, we had the clips that we were going to create that were going to change these um, um, these pads and change the loops that are playing in these pads. So what that's going to do is that's going to cycle through all of these slots in the different Octorexes. So in order to do that, um, we're going to need to turn to our Thor now. And um, we're going to also use a bit of a combination. I did show this previously, but um, I'll just go through it again quickly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the CV output. CV1 is going to go up into CV1 over here. We're going to turn that to be unipolar. And I'm just going to do one of these clips um, to show how it's done. Um, then what we're going to do, we're going to open up the programmer for Thor. We are going to take the gate output for number 13, pad number 13, and we're going to send it down into the gate in, which is going to trigger the step sequencer in Thor. It's going to trigger this to move forward, and we set it up to move a forward by one step each time. So now what you can do is, uh, let me just see here, you can set up these step sequencers. Uh, we're going to have to have, let's see, seven in total. Uh, or, no, we're going to have to have eight. Sorry. Um, and we're going to set this on number one. But before we do that, go up here, select the first loop, select CV input one, change this to the loop slot, change this to zero, zero to seven. So now when you change this, this is going to start on one, change this down here to go to two, change this to go to three, this one to four, this one to five, this one to six, this one to seven, and then this one to eight. So now um, basically it's going to run through all of these slots um, when you press number 13. And we'll show you how that's done. I can. Okay. So now when you press clip number th or pad number 13, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's going to loop through all of these patches or all of these Rex loops. Now, the only thing you're going to have to do is in here, you're going to have to program it so that loop number 1, number 4, and number 7 all go to, um, sorry, all go to the CVN1. And then what you're going to do is you're also going to duplicate the Thor. Okay. And you're going to flip it around. You're going to do the same thing with the gate out, uh, which is going to go into. It's going to open up. Come on, come on, come on. Open up. It's not going to open up. Okay. Same thing. Gate pad number 14 is going to start the triggering on here. And then you're going to send this CV out to this CV2 like that and then over here you're going to change um, so that you get loop number two, loop number five, and loop number eight to go on this pad number 14 and you're going to do the same thing with number 15. So you're going to end up with three different um, Thor patches uh, that will do that and uh, that way um, each of the each of the Rex loops are going to go forward based on this pad. So this pad will control um, Octorex number nine, Octorex number five, Octorex number one, and it's going to go through it. So when you're playing uh, one of the pads, you can go through it and it's going to cycle through. But let's just play one because this one is actually looping through. Okay, so once you do that, you've got um, these clips controlling each of these columns. You've got the scenes that play all three of these. Okay, so the only thing that you have to do now is you can set up some mutes on button uh, one, two, and three. So this is going to mute selection number uh, or clip one, I guess, if we're going to keep with the name. Okay, this one is going to mute clip two. This one is going to mute clip three. Okay, and I'll just turn off the rest of these. Delete this. 
And the way that you're going to mute it is you're going to take, you go back up to your mixer here, mixer three. You're going to select on, um, you're going to select three instances of button one. Okay. You're going to select three instances of button two. Button two, and then button three. We've got three instances of button three. And then button one, you're going to get level channel one. This one, you're going to get level of channel four. This one, you're going to get level of channel seven. And you're going to have the minimum be 100. Okay, so I'll just do this first one here. And maximum is going to be zero. So now, when you turn on the mute clip, it's going to mute loops one, loop um, bleh, loop one, loop four, and loop seven. So that's what it's going to mute. Okay, and you're going to have to do the same thing for the other um, channels here. That's pretty much all there is to it. That creates your little mini session view in Reason, which is kind of akin to what they have going on over in Ableton Live. I hope that uh, that you find this interesting. Again, come visit me at reason101.net where I will make this patch available um, along with some other goodies that are definitely coming your way. Thanks a lot. Again, the site is reason101.net and my name is Rob. Thanks a lot.